Hey everyone, my name is Alex uh, with uh, Road Trader On and today we are looking at the ASICS Trabuco Max, a 2021 a model from ASICS released in January. It comes at 160 euros and uh, this pair was provided uh, to us by ASICS friends. Uh, for our uh, multi-tester review in French that will be published in the coming days on roadtrayaround.com so do not hesitate to um, check it out in, the, in French if you're a French speaker or in English uh, there's also a multi-tester review in English available on roadtrayaround. All right here we go for the first impression um, review uh, and some, some specs as well. Here we go. All right, so here you have a close-up view of the ASICS uh, Trabuco Max. The ASICS Trabuco Max um, is ASICS uh, long-distance, comfortable, trail-running shoe. Uh, it has uh, that uh, quite high uh, stack height uh, with 28 millimeters uh, and 23 in the forefoot for a 5 millimeters drop. Uh, I weighted it at uh, 330 grams in my size US 11 EU 45, which is uh, quite heavy, uh, but compared to other competitors uh, like, for instance, the Hoka Speed Goat, it's in that same uh, ballpark, so um, nothing, nothing crazy either. A heavy trail running shoe, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, it's um, it's really worth every every gram of it, um, and actually quite interestingly, you do not really feel that weight uh, when running. It feels um, way lighter than um, than the actual number um, tell. Um, it has um, an engineered uh, mesh upper, uh, very comfortable not too roomy in the toe box uh, but still plenty of volume um, not narrow or snug by any means uh, the, um, the midfoot um, upper is um, well designed and it wraps quite nicely around um, the, the foot um, the tongue is very well padded at the top but i must say that uh, during my my first run today for some reason, and I think that's due to the lacing system, but we'll, we'll come back to that as well. Um, the tongue was uh, getting out quite easily and it wasn't uh, wrapping nicely around um, the, the top of my foot, of my feet, because um, it was on, on bus size. So yeah, that, that's, that's something weird. I need to figure out um, if the, the wrapping issue is... Um, um, coming back on, on every round or if it was just today because of a poor lacing from, from me. Um, but anyways, very well padded. Uh, the padding goes on um, around uh, the heel and um, it's, it's very comfortable, not overbuilt. There's plenty of material, plenty of uh, cushion, but nothing, um, it, it's not too much. It's, uh, it's just the, the amount that you you wish to have for, for longer distances, ultra trails, um, lots of, really lots of comfort and um, you, feel, um, you feel protected and at the same time, um, you know, there, there's, there's nothing um, uh, coming into your, um, your uh, heel that would, um, that would uh, hurt or cause uh, any uh, sort of uh, issue at, the, uh, at this uh, level. Now coming back to the heel, it's interesting to, to notice uh, the, the very uh, hard heel color um, at the bottom of the, the heel area. The top is a bit more plush or at least has a bit more give to it, but the bottom has that um, very hard sort of shell that wraps very nicely around the heel and uh, gives you also extra protection but also uh, stability especially on, on some um, descents today I didn't have anything technical on my run but I can uh, quite uh, imagine that this specific um, hard color, hard um, shell around the heel 
gives you extra stability and extra confidence when um, when going down. Also in terms of protection you have that um, great designed um, rock protection at the front. It's really hard um, from the front side but then um, the, the hardness uh, goes down and down when um, getting more to the midfoot. So um, you have some kind of gradient uh, of, of um, protection, nothing um, too stiff and uh, definitely today I, I did not have a chance to uh, test it um, to say whether or not it protects you uh, nicely but I can really imagine that um, you are uh, well protected here in the, in the forefoot area from, from any um, rock now for the midsole, we have a uh, flight foam midsole from uh, ASICS. It's um, on, on the firm side of, um, of uh, things, but by any means it is not hard nor um, stiff. Uh, it's just that nice firmness um, that, you know, uh, is uh, quite energy efficient because it's not too plush. And um, in the same time, the, the, the midsole is, is smooth and you have uh, some cushion to it. So, you know, a, a nicely cushioned but firm at the same time combo of, uh, of sensations. And, um, and that is a really pleasant. And I must say that sh should I, um, uh, you know, race or, um, or at least go for a longer trail, uh, this shoe would definitely be on my list for, for those um, specific reasons. Um, lots of cushion comfort, but nothing too exaggerate and um, some firmness, uh, also not too exa exaggerate, but just the firmness that you, you wish to have um, when, you know, when tired legs uh, kick in, you, um, you do not uh, fall apart and uh, you can still um, really use every um, every bit of energy that you have and uh, have um, a decent amount of um, return thanks to um, to that midsole. Obviously, the guide ride technology is present on this shoe. At least, it's inspired by the guide ride technology. Uh, so says Asics. Um, so you can see here the the very pronounced uh, rocker shape uh, through the, the forefoot. You definitely can feel it, even walking around my place um, when I got the shoe, I could, I could feel it and even more so outside um, during my run today. It's really pleasant because um, it allows you to strike a bit less, or at least for me, I'm a mid-foot, four-foot striker and I could feel today that I was striking um, a bit uh, further back. That also was confirmed by the data that I am uh, gathering with, um, with the pods. I was striking a bit further back, but thanks to the, um, to the rocker shape and the guide ride technology, um, it allowed me to really you know, take that impulse from um, that, that midfoot area and nicely rock to the forefoot and take that toe off impulse. So, and, and actually it's the first time that I'm running in a shoot who, who is inspired by the guide ride technology from ASICS. So um, it was a great discovery for me, a uh, great first experience in this type of, of rocker geometry uh, from, from ASICS and it works really well on this shoe. It's also a reason why I would consider the shoe for longer distances um, because, uh, you know, striking a bit less on the forefoot is, is um, less taxing for, um, uh, for your legs, for your calves and, um, and therefore striking a bit more um, to the to the back of your uh, of your feet um, is is uh, is you know welcome, um, but also in the same time with the guide rod technology and the rocker shape, the rocker geometry in the midsole, um, you um, you you are quite efficient and uh, and you have a very very nice uh, gait cycle and and toe off uh, propulsion. So um, overall, midsole is. Uh, very very well designed and um, it was it was really a highlight for me on this shoe. Um, so so yeah. Now when it comes to the outsole, 
we have um, the ASICS grip, um, so called uh, by, by ASICS. It's, um, as you can see, the, the logs are not too, too deep. Um, I would say we are in that two to three, maybe three and a half millimeters depth in terms of, of logs. Uh, but clearly the traction is awesome. You, you have them um, everywhere on the outsole. And um, well, again, today was not technical terrain by any means, but the, the grip was, um, was phenomenal. Uh, I would not worry at all taking this shoe um, on, on, um, on, you know, not necessarily highly technical terrains, but, um, but anything really can, can work for this shoe. Muddy, muddy terrains uh, could work as well, but the lug depth may be a bit insufficient for that. But, you know, it's, it's an outsole that can really handle, I would say, pretty much every, um, let, let's call them uh, traditional trail, uh, trail runs. Obviously, uh, you know, icy conditions, extreme conditions may be a bit tricky, but um, other than that, I think you, you are pretty much covered. So positives for me, well, obviously the, the midsole, um, the rocker shape, guide ride technology is, is a big highlight of this shoe. Uh, the upper comfort is, is really good. Uh, and the overall ride sensation, that you know, um, smooth ride, very reassuring. Um, you, you do not really feel the weight of the shoe, so it feels lighter than it actually is. And all, all these points are, are really my, my positives from um, my first impression run today. Drawbacks, I would go for the lacing system. It's well designed and I'm sure it's, when, when used properly, it, it gives you a good lockdown. Now, today, for some reason, I had to relace um, the shoes three or four times. Um, I, I don't know, you know, maybe it's me just not, not uh, using the thing properly. And actually, funny enough, ASICS is, is sending you um, a guide or at least a you know, one-pager uh, explanations um, on how to properly lace uh, the, um, these, these laces. Uh, maybe it's, it's just me who, who, is, uh, who wasn't um, uh, using this thing properly, but you know, it's this, uh, the system that you're supposed to um, slide down and then uh, put here in the little um, compartment designed to uh, uh, maintain the, um, the laces. For some reason, the, the, the thing was uh, coming off, as I, as I mentioned before, the tongue was, wasn't really wrapping around my, my feet nicely. And um, the lacing, uh, what is the, uh, the lockdown wasn't perfect. I think this is something I will figure out, or at least I hope so. Um, because overall, I really enjoyed the shoe and I can see myself running in it um, more often than I would have imagined in the first place. So, you know, um, only the, this little drawback for the lacing system. But other than that, um, it's a really good um, shoe designed by ASICS. Alright guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed uh, this video, do not hesitate to uh, like it and um, subscribe to uh, Road Try Run uh, channel. I um, hope to see you soon in another uh, review here on uh, Road Try Run and uh, the written multi-tester review in French will follow soon. In the meantime, you can already check the English one if you're interested. It's available on uh, roadtrailrun.com. Um, yeah, see you guys soon.